This here is a one inch copper tube size water main, well, water service line coming in from the main from the street. More than likely you don't have the novelty of uh, having a, your water meter exposed like this. This is all a brand new service. So, to understand how this works, this comes in from the street. This valve right here is called a curb stop. So they can shut this water off here and disconnect everything and replace this yoke. The red line is a tracer wire so that if they ever need to find this line they hook up to it with a, uh, a line locator and this will show them where the line is so they don't hit it. So from the curb stop you come into this yoke. The yoke holds your water meter. comes up on this side to this valve. This is where you would turn the service off to your house or if you didn't pay your bill they would close that and lock it. Comes up to your water meter. Your water meter works just like a, uh, a clock or an odometer reading on your car. The little triangle that spins there count your gallons per hour. I've left the hose running to show the movement there. So now you are responsible for everything on this side of your water meter. Your hook up here, one inch brass nipple, comes into a brass T. The T goes over to a stop and waste valve. Stop and waste would then come up this one inch pipe to your sprinklers, a hydrant, or what else you would want to water in the yard. If you don't know how a stop and waste works, typically you would turn this on in the spring. And off in the winter. By turning this off, the system will drain itself, hopefully draining most of the water in this pipe so that it doesn't freeze. I'm going to fill this uh, void here with gravel and everything's going to get buried. The gravel is just going to give a place for the water to go. Shut this off. That will continue to drain this pipe. And like I said, typically this is going to be filled to here with gravel, giving that a void for it to drain into. All your connections are typical pipe thread connections. One inch pipe thread. And this is your one inch line It continues to the house. I've also buried in this trench conduit to run sprinkler wire, speaker wire, or 110 volt out to the yard.